Hello everyone, welcome back to Uplink. We just, uh, we're trying to, I don't know, get enough money to, we, we bought all the proxy upgrade tools and now it's like I, I don't have enough money for the CPU upgrades I wanted to make or for the, the voice recording app I need to buy. Lots of stuff I need to do and all the missions I've taken mostly are hard ones, but I do have one, oops, it's over here. Um, so let's connect to Video Systems International Bank. Here they are. And uh, what do they have? They have a, a proxy and a monitor. That's not a huge problem. Trace this account and find the name of the receiver of the money. So I just want to manage an existing account from 854088. And then I need to hack their password, please. The monitor is keeping the bank from noticing this. And I'm not logging into the bank as admin, which would raise some eyebrows. I could just steal all this guy's money, by the way. That's probably a bad idea. I, I don't know if that... Uh... Uh, excuse me? That's a million... 1.1 million credits? Okay, so now I have to do a little bit more work. Because they want the name of the receiver of the money. And all I have is their bank's IP address and account number. Um, so I have to break into this bank and uh, this person's account to find out who they are, I think? Actually, do I even know view account? Yes. So if, I'm, if I've logged into the account, yeah, this guy only has a... I think I have 10,000 bucks. I mean, I, I, that would be useful. We could, like, try to take it, but I think it's just a bad idea to play with fire. Don't, don't shit where you eat, right? Um, so... Loans, by the way? Oh, it's the same thing as looking at their account. So I guess what I need to do is make a little note to myself. Um, transfer recipient. Um, so if we look at the statement, their IP was 55.74.41.76. And their account was 5236692. Cool. So now I can log out of this bank. And I don't think they're even going to track me down. So I'm not going to bother wiping that from Internet just yet. And what I need to search, actually, I need to log into Internet anyway to find this bank account 55.74.41. CompuSoft Computers International Bank. So let's bookmark that. And... Where is this? Here it is. So... You also have a monitor, which I will turn off. I need to manage an existing account. That account being 5236692. And yes, I do know the password. Just a moment while I type it in. Mm. 
This person should have a giant pile of money, right? I don't know. They might have moved it out. We'll check their statement. I don't think transferring a million dollars directly to my own personal account would be subtle enough. Um, yes, yeah, so the account... It does have a million credits. I, I think it would be a very bad idea to take it. Um, oh, hang on. I can just look at the account. Let's reply. I don't know if they even... If I say send, are they going to be like, yes, you know the guy's name? Like, is it included automatically, or...? Mission not completed. You don't need to know the name. Ah, that's a good point. What about this guy's statement? No, I don't know. This looks about right. They're getting their paycheck occasionally or something. Okay, I guess I need, I'm gonna try telling them the actual name, including it in here. So this is the account, oh no, hang on, I don't, cancel that. In response to the mission, Find the name of the receiver. Send a notice of completion. Well, I'll type in the name anyway. Salim Almonte. Okay, so they are happy with that. They just I sent them the name and so yeah, the guy's name is And they're like, no, I don't think that's his name. Okay, cool. Delete. So I don't think I got any money for that though, because these guys gave me all the money up front. I just kind of like getting this cleared out. And now we can connect to Internic and clean up after both of those. Now, I could fast forward the time here to uh, get my new computer, but I don't actually have the ability to do much with it anyway. What I need is like phone recording tools, and I have the money for that now. So I guess I'll do that. Right, that's uh, other. So now, I believe... So we learned, for example, that their internal services machine... No, not that. They had a different one that we could connect to to get phone numbers, right? Um, I could break into this one and like look at its nearby links or something, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I'm just gonna go ask Internic again. Auto, whatever. So they're public access server, I think. Yes. I can talk to the administrator, which I assume is what I would want, right? that work? Oh, I have a play button now. Hello, I am the system administrator. My voice is my password. Bear 
Okay, cool. So that worked. So now I have a voice code to let me in after going through their internal services machine to the mainframe. So I'm going to turn on the monitor bypass and then do voice print authentication first, I guess. Okay, access granted. Now we need our credentials. I can probably junk this, but just in case. Um, well, it is using up some CPU and I don't seem to need it. So I can load up the password breaker for, I guess, admin. I wonder if it saved a file of like the voice recording. No, it didn't. Okay. Oh wait, audio? No, I don't know how I would have saved that before. Hmm. Oh, my apps are taking up space too. That's interesting. Makes sense, of course. Oh, we're almost out of space. Good thing we aren't copying anything from this. We're just deleting it all. Cool, so we're logged in now, access granted. Oh, they're, they're tracking me now. My mission here is to delete everything, right? Yeah, delete everything. There's like a special um, console help yeah dir cd pub no cd rec dir cd user dir and then there's one for help, for, for delete, delete everything, yes. Oh my gosh, they're creeping up on me so fast. But this is deleting stuff way faster than using like log deleter or whatever. All files deleted. See you later, losers. You know. Uh, that'll sound cooler as long as they never end up actually catching me. If they do, it, you know, premature celebration, right? When, when you hear about this in the news, send you an email. How do I even read the news? Um, I guess here, right? There's a news thing somewhere, news server. Genetic computers lose... Oh, they are gigaquads. Okay, good. That's what I thought. Lose gigaquads of customer data due to malicious hackers. Oh, this isn't even me. Oh, huh, okay. Oh, maybe this was me, but just... I don't think I ever did anything to these guys. Okay. Well, let's just... Skip forward a little bit. I don't know. Oh, oh! I've been caught. I've been caught and killed. Okay. Well, that was a that was a game of uplink. How did they catch me? I deleted my logs. I don't know. Huh. Yeah, this is always how games of Uplink ended for me. Usually. Like, there was no precipitating event that I saw. I don't know. Maybe maybe one of those previous ones where, like, there was one where it seemed like I, I accidentally connected directly to their server. And, like, nothing much happened. They just kicked me out. But maybe it took them this time to find me. And now they found me. 
I don't know. I wish there were better feedback about, like, here's what went wrong in this game. Here's how they found out about you, right? A large corporation. Hmm. No, no. Okay, well. Uh... Do I want to do more uplink? I don't know. Maybe I'll play some offline, because it seems like kind of grindy. Like, just going through this process again doesn't sound like it would be that interesting, and I don't really understand why I died, so I'd like to understand it better before I do more videos about it. Um, but you guys can let me know what you thought about it. If you like. If you're dying for more uplink content, let me know. Anyway, short episode today. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.